सी टीम वेरी वेरी ओके इंपारटेंट टापिक टीम सालिड प्रिंसिपल टीम सो फस्ट वन वै वी शुड लर्न दिस् ओके सालिड प्रिंसिपल टीम सो सालिड प्रिंसिपल वै वी शुड लर्न दिस् ओके सालिड प्रिंसिपल बिफोर दट वाट आर् प्री रिक्वेस्टिंग टू अंडर्स्टा दिस् ओके सालिड प्रिंसिपल वाट आर् प्री रिक्वेस्ट to understand this is okay, a solid principle steam i would say hoops concept steam i would say hoops concepts like okay now inheritance polymorphism inheritance polymorphism now here objects class okay team now and so on so this is the pre requesting to learn this solid principle steam this is the pre requesting to learn this okay solid principle steam no need any okay technologies like you know no need okay any okay technology steam to understand this okay solid principle steam these are the simple pre requesting to understand this solid principle steam these are the simple to understand this okay solid principle steam so why we should learn this okay solid principle steam please okay try to understand me. the goal of this solid principles the goal of this okay, solid principle steam goal of this okay, see the goal of solid principles is okay is a coding standards is a coding standards that all the developers that all the developers should have a clear all the developers should have a clear concept clear concept for software clear concept for developing developing software properly team to avoid bad design to avoid bad design team to avoid bad design team okay so okay to avoid the bad okay, design team the main goal of this solid principles is a see coding standards that all the developers should have a clear concept for developing a software properly to avoid bad design team to avoid bad design team okay it is a number 1 and number 2 why i should learn this solid principles team so it is solid principles will help will help to reduce to reduce code complexity reduce the code complexity comma comma the coupling between classes comma comma separating 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 responsibilities qualities of each class comma separating okay, responsibilities of each class responsibilities of each class comma okay team and defining their okay, relationships defining their relationship means classes of relationship 
so the main goal of this solid principles are a developer every developer should follow the okay clear concept should follow the coding standards coding standards okay to developing our software product properly to avoid the bad design team next one solid principles okay solid principles will help to reduce code complexity coupling between classes separating okay responsibilities for each class team and okay defining their okay relationship team okay now good okay, i will explain clearly but don't worry it is just for okay now here okay okay introduction team what is this what is this solid principles okay introduction what is this okay solid principles team okay, number one introduction what is this okay solid principles okay number one very very okay, important topic team please in java see solid principles are in okay every technologies every technologies they should follow the coding standards so that that technologies you know developing software product will be very good team very good now here in java we are using java team okay in java solid principles solid principles are an object oriented object oriented approach approach that are applied okay, applied to software structure design software structure okay, design team okay number two it is introduced by it is conceptualized by is conceptualized by Robert Robert C. Martin team is the author guy Martin team next one team please try to understand okay, next one there are there are five there are principles okay. these there are five five principles okay these five principles is five principles have changed the world of object oriented object oriented programming also changed the way of way of writing software way of writing software team and last one so it also ensures it also ensures that the software is modular modular easy to understand easy to understand easy to debug and refactor easy to understand easy to debug and easy to refactor team and easy to refactor team and easy to refactor team now see what is solid stands for okay acronym or solid stands for now here see very very important team now once it is done we'll will start team okay s okay s stands for srp srp means s stands for okay single responsibility 
single responsibility principles principle team people are call it as srp single okay, responsibility principles team o stands for o stands for open open closed closed principle people are call it as ocp open closed principle people are call it as ocp l stands for lisco substitution principle people are call it as lsp lisco substitution principle people are call it as lsp lsp it is now okay, next one i stands for interface interface okay, segregation interface okay, segregation principle it is also called as isp now last one d stands for dependency inversion principle it is also called dip so these are the five principles team if you understand this five principles our class is okay completed team so these are the five principles team please try to understand team please try to understand team so if you understand this okay you can write your coding in uh, beautiful way team okay you can write your coding in beautiful way team okay now see okay single responsibility principle open closed principles lisco substitution principle interface okay, segregation principle dependency inversion principle these are the five okay principles of solid team now we'll see first one team team so many in google so many in blogs or youtube they are telling all nonsense of examples team so you will see what is the real time need of all this one team you will see what is the real time need of all this okay use cases team what is the real time need of all this okay use cases team please try to understand you will be understanding why in our project we are using so many classes you will be able to know after this in solid principles is done you will be understanding why real time project we are using all the coding standards interfaces okay you will be able to know team see now first one thing please try to understand okay first one thing please try to understand see now what is this single okay, responsibility principles the meaning itself is their team single okay, responsibility principle meaning itself is their single okay, responsibility principles now these principles this principle states that this principle states that a a class a class should have a class should have only a class should have only one reason a class should have only one reason to change a class should have only one reason to change it that means b a class should have a single okay, responsibility a class should have a single okay, responsibility 
should have a single responsibility or single job or single purpose only of that class. If you are writing your class means that class should have single okay, responsibility. That class should have single okay, responsibility or single job or single purpose. If you want to modify that class, you should have only one reason team. If you have modified that class, you should have only one reason team. You should have only one reason team. So now see how the okay example. How the okay, okay example team. You now for every project in real time. In real time for every project team. Okay, example one. Example one. In real time for every project. Okay. See now. We have, see now, I am creating a one of simple project team. Okay, everything is practical and real time team. Please try to understand team. Let us assume that I am trying to write one simple micro services team. I am using okay, spring, okay, spring Boot, group ID com.srinotech. Here. Here, my service name is Card Offers Service Team. So it is a simple one team. Com dot Srinotech. Package dot Offers Team. Good. Click on Next. I don't need a, it is just to for, I don't want to deploy your application and all. I am just to for showing the Practical team. Why do you need this okay, solid principle team? See now. Why do you need this okay, solid principle team? Please try to understand it. So, I am going to create a class. New class. Card offers controller team. It is by package name not changed. It is a okay, controller team. Now here CT. I am increasing this font size, windows preferences. Font change team. Okay, now done team. Now we'll see. Now please try to understand team. See now controller means what? I don't want to talk too much of this one. It is not our job now. I don't want to talk too much. Even though it is a error also here, it's not a problem. Yeah. Now I'm creating a model team. Just for creating a, I don't have any intention here. Please try to understand where to use a SRP in our real time team. Model. Card offers request. Now, card offers a okay, response team. Card offers a request. Card offers a okay, response team. Now, clear. Go for this controller. Public. Card offers a response. Get offers. Card offers a request team. Card 
perfect team. So now please try to understand. Please try to understand perfect team. Now what is the problem here, you know, see. Step one. Get the request from client. Now step two. Validate the request team. Now what I will do, I have to write huge logics team. It's not easy. Maybe here validations will take minimum 100 lines of the time. Okay, 100 lines of the code. Request is null. Okay, then you have to do that. Okay, request is okay. Now here, if the if the request have some object, private string, card number, or something, I don't want to write too many elements. So how many elements are there in the request? Request to dot. Request to dot. Get card number is equal to null you know here handle now here handle exceptions now here handle exceptions please try to understand team so in your real time you are a model class 20 properties are there you have to write 20 lines of the code or 100 lines of the code each and every element to, to validate 100 lines of the code team here. After writing 100 lines of the code, third, write business logics like, write business logic like, you know, card, uh, write business logic like, you know, card is active okay right business logic like card offers filtering okay, okay card offers of expiry logic card offers of expiry logic comma get the list of cards comma okay filtering the filtering means now okay, apply logics to get Valid offers. All the logic team to write all this logic. Okay, it will take okay, how much of time team? It will take minimum hundred lines of the code team. That means to validate the only request, hundred lines of the code is required. To write to be business logic here, maybe hundred lines of the code is there. Now here, fourth step. Again. Okay, fourth step again, okay. response validations. So okay. response logics, okay, it is called okay. request logics. Now response logics, again, okay, it will take 100 lines of the code is there. Now here, now here, okay, what happened? See, now, okay, fifth steps to communicate backend systems, like database, like service, like file again it will take 100 lines of the code see what is the problem in this you know please try to understand team what is the problem in this you know see. if the problem is in this way please try to understand so you may ask sir why i should go for service dao and all see you are controller only you can write so much of logic team. Your controller only, you can write so much of logic team. So everything you can write okay, inside of the your controller. But what is our? A class should have one responsibility. A class should have only one reason to change. See now, in, in single controller class, we, we will write one is validations, one is business logics, one is calling backend systems, one is 
Understood? Request response preparation. Now here. See, we are writing in single controller class. We will write, you know, here we are writing. We are okay, implementing all these features team, all these below features. So this approach is wrong. Why? This approach will violate will violates SRP. SRP that means here. See this will this will impact code maintainability. Code maintainability. Code code maintainability. Code readability. Why code readability? Okay, I will explain to you. Code readability, code maintainability, okay, code understandability, understandability, and so on team. So it will violate, it will violate. Now here it will violate the SRP. SRP. Why violates? Let us see. Let us see team. See, if you want to change your validation code, you have to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Where is the validation? Okay, here. Here is your business logics. We have scrolled down, scrolled down, scrolled down, scrolled down here. Okay, here I need to change. Sometimes while you are changing your business logics here, it might be a impact for your validations. While doing your validation code logics here, it might be impacting your business logics. Now, see here, code, you know, all, all are okay, issues team. To overcome these problems, to overcome these problems, very, very important team, to overcome these problems, split controller class into multiple classes. Split controller class into multiple classes team what is a multiple classes hey team see now if you want only validations move to validator class if you want to modify this class only one reason the reason is some elements validations are not working it is a single responsibility that that responsibility is called validators. If any request input is failure means you should go immediately validations. You are modifying this class means what? You are modifying because of only one reason for validations are getting failure. Hey, business logics. Go. Don't mix up your business logic with controller service class or business class or process class or logic class or it depends upon some of the clients using okay terminology is called service some of the clients using okay terminology is called business some of them are using process class some of them are using okay logic classes hey calling backend systems don't mix up you are changing your backend system. Okay, request is not reaching. Okay, response is not reaching. Means don't mix up your your backend class. Right? Okay, DAO class or right? Okay, service client classes. Okay, separate these classes. So you are trying to change your class. Means only that class should have single responsibility. That class should have single responsibility team now here request to builder class comma response builder class why request to builder class will have only request to preparation logics response builder class only okay, response of okay, preparation classes okay, request to builder class is only okay, request to preparation class and okay, response builder class only okay, response of okay, preparation class understood Please try to understand team. Please try to understand team. Okay, now. So that's why 
in your real time because of this solid principles only because of this solid principles only we have splitting this controller into many classes those many classes are called now see single okay, responsibility classes any classes are called now single okay, responsibility classes service it will give for what card offers service okay team now here in this class only you have business logic is there now dao in this class only will have card offers okay in this class only will have okay back end systems code is there dao card offers dao understood sir now say i need to write my validations code how to write my validations code write one separate code is called only for validations separate code is only for validations later card offers validator okay now validator is done now i want to write builders why i will explain card offers request to builder card offers okay response builder card offers request to builder card offer okay, response builder response builder okay done team so this class will be the okay, responsible for only okay, request to preparation logic this class will be okay, responsible for only okay, response preparation logic this class is for only to controlling you should not write split okay remove this whole stuff remove this whole stuff now here now here what it is there your validator go to here validator i am not explaining spring core spring bean and all i am explaining plain validator validator is equal to new validator now validator dot validate request so instead of you will write here 100 lines of the code write this 100 lines of the code where here 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 to do validate the request I am not writing project code here. I am just to writing. So if you are modifying this source code means only single region, single responsible. Okay. Only should we have only one region to change. Should have single responsibility means it should have only validator only. If you are trying to modify means region is only for validations i am trying to change team got it team now see now now controller is done okay now here okay, next one is what service go to this okay, service team let us assume that same models i okay i will be using team here or i will use a okay, different models team so now it is that model classes card offers card offers service request card offers service okay response card offers okay da over request da over request card offers da over response your response team now we'll see practically now go for this okay, service team i am not writing okay interface and all okay, simple i am writing it offers card offers service request card offers service response Continue. now here 
my intention is see you now go to your controller hey if you want write any your business logic don't write your 100 lines code here what you should do prepare the request to for service class code to one all service class please try to understand if any doubts okay you can ask me okay i will explain to you now here see this preparation is too complex team if it is simple elements are okay but in my service preparation is complex team let us assume that here i have a 100 properties are there team 100 properties it is very difficult to, to prepare the whole request object here i need to prepare the request service request request i need to prepare the okay, request then i should call team card offers service this is equal to new card offers okay, service team okay now service dot why it is not in public here I don't want to explain in generic way team. I want to explain the real time of the use case. So it is a service request. It is a response team. Now here what happened? See, in your real time what happened? Why? It is a response, right? Public. It is showing object. good team let's see okay the problem is let us assume that here 100 elements are there i have to prepare 100 elements a okay, big request object team tomorrow if you want to change your okay, request object for your service you are modifying your controller team so you are your controller have more than one responsibilities Unnecessarily, one controller will have a okay, preparation of the okay, request logic team. It will take so much of time. Now, what we'll do, you know, here, builder team. Let's try to understand. Odd offers builder. Odd offers request builder. All we are using in our project team. If you are following, okay. If you are not following, okay, but so it's all up to you team request builder build a service request input is hey you will pass the controller request okay okay output is service request team do this one no need to write 100 lines of the code here for whole okay, request to preparation logic in, in where builder team to do simple here to do prepare the service request with the help of controller request that's it team. that's it so so now here you are modifying logic in your builder means only your service request is any any issues only to preparation of the request object only you are modifying this team you are calling your service means only business logic if you want to modify only this only you are modifying your business logic team once you got the response right so you should not write your okay db logics and all now here okay once you got the response right i need to prepare the prepare controller or okay, response team but i got here service response what should i do again i should prepare okay, response builder team new response builder 
start build controller response here it is service response second type is card offers response okay this one thing here if you are ch changing this class means it will be only for your okay, response prepare the controller response with the help of the help of service response team exit team exit send this controller of response here see how beauty your core team 500 lines we are okay, reducing to max 40 lines code team it is called single responsibility team every class controller will have only two control logics class will have business logic will have service dao backend system of interaction validators will have only to perform the validations request builders we are preparing the request for what instead of writing so much of logic inside of being controller give your client request i will prepare the service request i will pass this okay, service request to my service class response logics don't write too much okay, response logics here give my service response i will prepare the controller of okay, response I don't want to write here. I will write if any issue or okay, error will come inside of your response object, you should modify only this response builder class. This is what real time exactly we are using team. Got a team. Okay. Builder concept is okay. Easy. Karpit. Are you understand? Again, okay, I should okay. Okay, and explain Karpit. Did you get it? Again, okay, you want builder means. I want to prepare the request object for my service class. How to prepare a request object? Here I have a yeah, hundred properties. Private string, card number, private string, CVV, private string, name on card. I have hundred properties like this here. Alt SR, Alt A. Okay. Now here what should I do if builder C is not there? If builder C is not there, okay, let us assume that. Now here what should I do? This request. If two, three elements are okay, if more of elements are there, service request, card offers, service request. Now here what should I do? new i have to go ahead here service request to dot set card number controller of request to dot get card number like that service request to dot how many elements are there i need to prepare whole object here if i have some 100 100 properties are there. I should write 100 okay, properties okay, request object here. If 2, 3 okay, elements is okay. If I have some 50 properties are there, I have to write 50 properties here. What I am doing? Okay, instead of I should do this 100 properties here, I am commenting. Now I am okay, uncommenting. I will do whole this 100 properties in where request to builder. I will go here. Request to builder, I will go. The logic, I will write it here. Card offers. You have how many properties? 100 properties. Write it, no problem. You have 200, you, you have okay, 50 properties. Write it, no problem. I don't have here CVV now. If you have CVV, it will come. to dot set cvv 
like that you have to prepare name on card maybe sri no you have to prepare he will give outcome means you are preparing service request input is controller output is service request you are preparing everything to here team everything to here if any logic is if any issues will be there in this request in this request where can i see go for this builder hey prepare the your service request doesn't matter 100 elements this class okay responsible for only to prepare the request object to prepare the request object what input is required send all this okay, input as a method arguments output is service request object okay, written type is service request object you will do it here means move the your request preparation logic into request builder you got a team team hope you are clear what is okay srp okay 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 srp by by implementing okay srp if you are implementing srp means there would be many classes there would be more classes more classes present no in your project as as each class each class each class will have each class each class will have only one responsibility good now okay next one team see okay example two team i will give example two how the how the non Okay, real time okay, use case of this okay, single okay, responsibility team. Okay, example one is our project. Hope you are happy. Now, why we should use all this so many classes? Okay, you got clarity now. Okay, okay example two. What is okay? What is okay? Example two team. Now, okay, let's see. What is okay? Example two. Now, okay. See, generally a bank. What are the bank service will provide team? We'll go our bank services team. So in generally, if you go bank right, you can deposit amount, you can withdraw the amount. Okay, deposit amount and okay, withdraw the amount. Now okay, third one team, you can uh, get some loans information loans from the bank team get loans now fourth one team once you are you will get some otps from the bank team with this knowledge okay example two i am going to write here one class public class bank service team okay, and example two Go to write in public long deposit your amount deposit amount long amount in account number okay. this job is deposit amount okay. return zero and zero no next one next one no public long okay withdraw withdraw long amount string account number how much amount you want withdraw how much amount you want withdraw withdraw amount something zero or whatever it is team no very very important team okay, next one get loan info public wide get loan 
interest details string loan type string loan type you have to write some business logic here if loan type is home loan we have so many loans are there home loan dot equals loan type without interest rates will be different okay no so write some logics to get okay now here write some logic to get the home loan next one if you are using something personal loan or car loan okay something if you are using okay Okay, something team okay vehicle loan or car loan okay something car loan okay, so this is some logic now here last method team last future what is it is done it is your method is done done now okay last future what is the last one public void send OTP string channel medium how to send OTP if if medium medium email dot equals equals medium okay now so if you want to send email notification means you should write here code write email related logics to send email to using java mail api similarly you have any other other like uh, okay sms or you know or whatsapp or so many channels will be there now now what you have a observe team here now what you have observed here now bank service provide only so if you observe here okay withdrawal amount loan is okay bank here if you are trying to mo modify this class today is home loan now here or personal loan tomorrow is maybe okay education loan will come or tomorrow is maybe gold loan will come so you are trying to change keep on your source code here also here is send email again send okay okay sms via your okay whatsapp number see what you have observed not this this okay this class does not follow does not follow the srp srp single responsibility principle because this class has many responsibilities this class has any okay, responsibilities so you have a okay, responsibilities are send otp you have a okay, responsibilities are send loan you have a okay, responsibilities are withdraw you have a okay, responsibilities are okay, deposit so many okay, responsibilities are available here see now to overcome so it does not follow the okay, single okay, responsibilities to achieve or overcome srp srp then we should we should implement we should okay, implement a separate class we should implement a we should implement a separate classes that performs single functionality only that performs single 
functionality only please try to understand team please try to understand how you need to split you need to split multiple classes public class it is called a loan service loan service will have only logics of this home loan only if you are trying to modify your code means you should have okay if you are trying to modify your code means you should have only single region team you should have only single region team you okay you should not have multiple regions okay you should not have multiple regions team you should not have multiple regions team please try to understand you should not have multiple regions team okay now see this is where how how your code okay it should be okay work team now split this one to otp into another service okay what is that other service team public class what is that others one team notification service what is that others one notification service public class notification notification service closed team Understood team notification service team closed team now if you observe each class has a single responsibility this class has only to send a notification this class has only to provide the loan loan information if you split this this class will have only to provide the deposit or okay withdrawal of information okay that's it team you can write okay deposit for one service okay withdrawal for one service you can write it single responsibilities means every class should have only one responsibility okay next one what is open close principles again team whenever you are writing code in your real time you have to think you have to think hey is this uh, any uh, you are sending email notification why can't you write one separate class you are sending any okay sms why can't you write for separate class think about it not only for these classes think about it whenever you are writing the code if you feel that future is a one separate responsibility write as a separate class team okay that's it what is ocp team open closed principle what is ocp open closed principles team very very good very very good important team this principles states states that we have software entities right we have software entities like classes modules functions all should be open for extension but closed for modification open for extension but closed for modification that is that is okay that means we should able to extend class behavior we should able to extend class behavior without modifying existing code we should extend class behavior without modifying okay we should extend class behavior 
without modifying okay, existing code team. Let us consider team. Okay, example. Example. I have a simple class. Notification service team. We have used in our project all these okay, problems team. Notification service team. Notification means we will get notification email, we will get notification SMS, we will get notification on WhatsApp, we will get a notification on uh, like uh, you know uh, Facebook. Okay, now see how this logic is there here. Public wide send OTP string medium public void send OTP string medium or channel how you want to send medium or channel now, here number one send OTP to Yeah, email. Now what I should write? I will write the logic. If always okay, recommended constant is first if the input to dot equals of medium is email. I will write the code. What kind of code you will write? Write email related logic using Java mail API. Write email logics using Java mail API. Write email logic using Java mail API. Now next. If if not email SMS dot equals of medium medium right SMS sender it SMS client code right SMS related logic using Java SMS provider logic SMS provider using one of the SMS one of the SMS provider API like this we have to write every time team if tomorrow if tomorrow WhatsApp will come I should write some code or tomorrow again another medium will come I should write the code. Telegram will come. I should write the code. Hey, where are we going? If you are writing this code for every medium, it is taking big, big okay, classes team. Because of you are trying to implement the logics here, it might be impacting for your email logic also because both are clumsy. There might be chance of some, you know, um, modify of Okay, existing mediums also team. Why we write always first means to avoid null point exceptions team. If you are not writing here, you know, if you write code is like this. Okay, reverse. If medium dot equals of email, what happened, you know, if medium value will get null value, null dot equals null point exception will come. Now, if the, here email dot equals of null, false will come. False means this code will not execute. Your application will not terminate. It will execute it smoothly. Here, if this value will come null means null dot equals of this one, null point exception, your application will stop okay, working. Okay, always okay, recommended use constant values first while, while doing 
comparison okay no see if you are writing if the see every one month two months one medium will be added means you have to write that of that kind of okay if conditions team that kind of okay if conditions team see now here what is the problem statement here how to achieve this what is the problem statement here the problem statement is now here see if you want okay introduce okay okay if you want currently current logic will send notifications via email comma or sms but in future in future if we in in future if you want send notifications you want to send notifications via whatsapp number via whatsapp then then we need to modify we need to modify source code we need to modify source code in notification service we need to modify source code in notification service we need to modify now here to overcome these problems so now here to overcome these problems to overcome these problems what ocp open close principle says means open for extension but close for modification that means that is open for that means it is not recommended it is not recommended it is not okay recommended not okay recommended it is not okay recommended to modify to modify the notification service for each otp feature for each otp feature it will violate will violate ocp solution what is the simple simple and super solution to overcome this service okay to overcome to overcome this we need to design design our code we need to de design our code in such a way that in such a way that everyone can reuse everyone can reuse your future by by just okay, extending okay, extending it and if they need any customization if they need any customization they can extend they can extend it and add their future on top of on top of it on top of it now oh, here see what we'll do we should design as below we should design as below yes public interface notification service method is public wide send otp spring medium or whatever it no you have to write open for extension 
here medium is number one email notification email notification how to write here email notification public class email notification class email notification implements notification I'll write the logic of public wired send OTP string medium string medium here you have to write your logic write logic using Java mail API using Java mail API second one SMS mobile notification what you will do open for extension open for a extension mobile notification write logic here write logic using there is a third party api is called third party api is called filio sms api Okay, if you want WhatsApp, third one, same team. See, open for a extension. If any new feature will come, no problem because you, you don't know in your real time if any other other project guy, others can use my email notification of this class only. If they want mobile, they can use for my class. They can extend it and they can write their own implementation. They can extend it and they can write in their own implementation. The last one. WhatsApp notification. Here you should give WhatsApp notification. Implements this right logic using WhatsApp API. Open for extension. You can any future it will come you can write open for a extension but closed for modification open for a extension but closed for modification i will not allow you to to write huge logics here it is done if you want to modify only email only closed for modification means i don't want to allow you to other than the email code here open for a extension means you, you can extend if tomorrow any new feature will come you can extend that feature you can write but you should not write too much logic in every every future team it depends upon the requirement you have to design your software like this you don't mix up in the in our single class i'm seeing team i'm seeing you know some of the traditional code old code Single class only is there, notification, 200 lines, email is there, 200 lines of SMS is there. If any one guy, okay, sometimes some common code is there, email or SMS. If you modify that common code, right, it will impact for your actual intention is of SMS modify, it will be an impact for email also. Team. That is the reason we don't know, okay, here, here is a 100 lines code, here is a 100 lines code. Here is a hundred lines code. Some of the common lines code I move to one method. If you are trying to modify your SMS code, right? It would be impact for email also because of that common method. That's why you should not mix up multiple features into single class. Open for okay extension. You can extend whatever you want. If any new feature will come, if any telegram will come, you can extend. Write your logic in a telegram. Who is stopping? Telegram notification. Implements notification. Write logic using telegram API. Write logic using telegram API. Did you understand team? Why we should learn this? Okay. Open closed principles team. See, always try to avoid this this kind of code team that's why you have to write notification you have to think how many notifications are there write one interface notification 
every every you know okay notification channel you have to write the implementation if tomorrow if you want only okay if you want delete for only email i don't want email stuff you can disable this one you can delete this one your client will tell hey i don't want okay sms means you, you don't know where to stop this one you have some thousand lines of code is there here which code you will be comment it would be a impact for email or any other medium we don't know so open for extension open for open any future will come open for extension but closed for modification you cannot once you will write this logic it is only change of this whatsapp future you can do it not any other feature okay now okay next one team third one disco substitution principle team okay no, i i would say if you are strong on polymorphism it will be easy team if you are strong on poly, polymorphism it will be easy that's what how we are strong we are using your inheritance your okay interfaces your abstract classes your polymorphism that is called solid principles team those hoops are define how you are designing your software okay um, software design team okay now what is mean by lisco substitution principle team so this principle states states that this principles states that now here see derived derived or child classes must be substitutable or their base or parent classes okay. simple team base or parent class here it is a okay, okay okay big big words that is if class a is failed class of class b then we should able to replace b with we should able to replace b with a without interrupting behavior of the program how class b how class a generally what happened b b is equal to new a it's true why it's true it is a child class of b a parent class can refer child class a parent class can refer child class understood team a parent class can refer child class that means i can able to substitute my a class with a class to b a class to b i can replace my b with a a is equal to new a also so simple example team example okay real time example so always will take notification or some other one will take let us say one simple class will take these days uh, social media is famous right okay we'll take abstract class social media team generally 
what will be the futures on this social media team one is public abstract void we can chat with friend and we can public abstract all are same see some different uh, futures team four five futures will take group video calls you can take and we can publish some post okay and we can send photos and videos photos and video calls video stream so it is a one simple team now let us assume that what are the social media team some of the social medias are facebook facebook comma whatsapp comma twitter okay facebook comma whatsapp comma twitter and all okay you can use many things too but see now what should i do it is a abstract class if i want to extend this one public class facebook extends this one team this one here what if it is facebook right you can chat that logic is there but you can chat group call that logic is there and you can publish post and this logic is there okay and you can group video calls this logic is there you can write but see in our earlier days team in our earlier days not now in our earlier days you cannot in whatsapp right now it will be in whatsapp you can chat group video call you can use photos videos but postings are not there postings means then you can't give uh, you know you are um, bulk uh, earlier maybe it might be started now now here what happened now due to this due to this okay this class now here it is the parent class you can do it here social media sm is equal to new facebook i can substitute my child class to parent class but same thing here i cannot do in in whatsapp same thing team i cannot do it here why because how can i do okay one of the future is not implementing here how can i do one of the future is 
not implementing here how can i do one of the future is not implemented here okay it is wrong team because because whatsapp does not whatsapp okay does not support upload whatsapp okay does not support upload does not support publish post for friends it's just for chatting only it's just for Just for chatting only. Because of this, it, it is okay. Because of this, this application does not follow the LSP. 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 Okay, team. Similarly, not. Similarly, okay, if you are going with okay, Instagram, similarly, Instagram, Instagram also does not support group video call. Group video call future. So, we say, Instagram also is of Instagram child is not okay substitute okay Instagram child is not the substitute substitute okay of parent class of parents social media okay team so it is the problem statement so simple team if you are able to uh, you know your child class is okay able to access all the futures that means your child class is able to okay substitute to your parent class to overcome these problems what is the solution team solution all our okay, interfaces of okay, abstract classes okay this one only team solid principles means to overcome this problem okay we should we should write to overcome these problems okay we should write the code we should write the code as below which will which will follow LSP. Will follow LSP. How the code instead of abstract class, how your code interface social media. What you will do with social media? Chat with friend, send videos. Group call on this one, I am okay removing. What is another interface? Split your interface. Public interface, social media, social post, and social post manager. Yes. Okay. okay okay interface now here what you will do only publish this post only i am splitting team i am splitting see how it is now third one what is third one group video calls public interface interface video call manager video call manager okay that's it team so here group video calls means here you have a string of array users group video calls post means here object it is 
printing. Now we'll see. So it is easy now. It will not violate your principles. Why it is not okay, violate your principles? Now if you observe, we are segregate specific functionality to separate class. Now, not. We have segregate specific functionality to separate class classes to follow LSP to follow LSP. How how it is to follow LSP? Now we'll see. Now it's up to okay, implementation class decision to support the futures now it is okay if it is okay instagram or if it is facebook now public class it is facebook team if it is facebook means i want okay everything i want everything because facebook should okay, supports all okay implements social media comma social post manager comma this one you will support for all of okay, everything i am fine so i will write the logics of all the core team okay write implementation for all the features now if it is like instagram or whatsapp what is your Instagram? Okay, Instagram group calls is not okay, supporting. Remove this one. Right. Okay, implementation for all the futures. All the futures. All the futures team. And the futures of social media and social post manage. This is the way how okay, you can okay, you can override your okay, it's not Facebook, it is a okay, Instagram. So by this way, now here what happened? Your child class can substitute your these classes. Your child class can substitute your parent class this is the way how you should design your core team how you should okay, design your core team so it is not good way writing here all in one single so if you can't able to okay okay substitute means it is the problem team that's why split it whatever you want you can go ahead and, and you can use it Understand team now here. See, this is how you can design your LSP. Got it, team? Hey, if you write override, but you cannot okay substitute, right? What is mean by okay, substitute? Now here, if you replace this social media with WhatsApp, can you call from WhatsApp is equal to new WhatsApp, WhatsApp dot publish post? It is not applicable, right? You cannot call, right? That's why it is not possible. See, even though we are, okay, substitute means we are replacing this class with this class. If you are replaced means with WhatsApp, you are able to call all the functionality of your parent class. But you could not able to call all the functionalities. Whereas here, you can call this functionality, you can call this functionality, you can call this functionality. If you are replacing here, you can call this functionality, you can call this functionality, you can substitute to social media and also social post manager. Here, you can substitute three methods here, uh, three classes of methods. Got it, team? This is what, how the okay, LSP team. Hey, the main okay, advantages of this okay, LSP are number one team code reusability number two team easier maintenance number three team 
reduced coupling. If your code follows the LSP principles, you will have the below benefit steam. Now, what is this interface? A segregation team. The meaning itself is their segregation. See, very, very important stuff. It is easy team. It will not take more than 10 minutes. It is easy. What this okay, principle will tell? Okay. No client should be forced to depend to depend on methods that it does not use. No client should be forced team. No client should be forced to depend on methods that it does not use. What is the problem here means? I will explain to you. First I will explain the problem statement. Then I will explain okay easily. Now see the here. What is the problem statement? Then I will write the points team. Here it is a different team. First we will write our problem statement team. Then I will write okay easily team. Okay, problem statement one, problem statement two, problem statement three. We can write many problem statement team. We can write many problem statements. Okay. Now let's see team. What is the problem statement? So in our real time, what happened to you know, somehow in your real time, what happened to you know, somehow without knowing people. Okay, without knowing people. Problem statement is okay, without knowing people, they will pollute the interface concept team polluting the i would say problem statement is polluting the interfaces interfaces in project development in project okay, development team okay now what is mean by what is mean by polluting team. What is mean by polluting? Please try to okay, understand team. See, okay, interface name is one thing team. Okay, inside of the okay, interface methods, they will write their own method names team. They will write their own method names team. Okay, interface is only one. Okay, interface is only one. But inside of the okay, interface okay, inside of the okay, interface they will write their own method names team okay they will write their own method names team what do you mean this one okay what do you mean okay this one team let's see i will write some small public i will write first generic way of okay, examples team Generic way. What is meant by it is an interface animal team. Okay, example one. Okay, I will write in our real time of okay, use cases also. Public interface animal team. Interface is animal. Animal will eat. Is it animal will fly team? Animal will eat. Is it animal will fly team? No. Hey, in our project development, people are writing interface is one and method names, they will write their own steam. Interface is bank service. Okay, inside of they will write, uh, uh, you know, okay, transactions, payments. Interface is name is card, you know, credit card. They will write, okay, inside of a okay, debit card features and all. See, they are 
polluting the interface ok interface in our project ok development team so what we should do hey it is wrong you have to split you have to split ok you have to split you have to segregation you have to split what you have to split so now what are the things if any flyable is there now okay, let's see so if any animals you have to split team splitting means let's see you have flyable fly whereas you have other one is there okay interface you have feedable function i will write in in our okay, real time team eat see you should not try to your own see whatever methods of okay, inside of the okay, interface team what is the real time use case of okay, example team what is the real time use case of okay, example team number one you are writing public interface Card offer team. Okay, what are the offers? Or card features. Okay, card offers. Public, wide, public, wide team. If you are using any some cards, right? These are the features will be there. Okay, now. Rewards. If you are swipe this card, rewards. If you are swipe this card, cash back. If you are, you can get the credit history. And public, wide, you can do the payments. See now my problem is here. What is this card offers? Is this card offer is applicable for debit card? Is this card offer is applicable for only credit card? See, with debit card, you cannot use okay, credit history. Based on your credit card transaction only, you should use okay, credit history. With your debit card, you will get only reward points, not cashback points. You have to segregate your interface team. You should not write blindly your interface name is one thing you can. It is not recommended. You can't write whatever you want. What you want to okay, segregate? See here. Okay, you want to segregate this okay, interface? Yes. Public. Interface. Credit card office. What I can provide this credit card offers. Okay. Some of the payments is there. It will not accept credit card. It will accept only a debit card only. Sir, so credit card means you are okay, eligible for this. Good. You are eligible for this. Good. You are eligible for is good but you are not eligible for these payments via using some credit card due to some limitations of that merchandise how to segregate public interface debit card offers debit card means you will get only this one and you will get some payments using debit card. It is easy team. It is easy team. I will explain one more use case. It is okay. It is okay. Example two. Example one. Now okay. Example three. I will write theory after I will explain the last example. You have your interface is called public. 
one more example public interface upi payments public why upi what we will do pay money upi phone pay you can pay money with upi what you will do get once you will pay you will get some scratch cards with upi what you will do public void get cashback as credit balance now okay see so what are the upa payments upa payments are google pay and paytm and phone pay and all. now see the problem statement here what is the problem statement google supports google pay gpa supports all these features all the go features go features and this can be implement implement the implement upa payments interface but atm does not support get cash back credit balance features so here we should not we should not force to our clients we should not force a paytm client we should not force a paytm client to override to override this method by implementing upa payment interface upa payment interface so what is the see here you should not ask paytm hey i am providing all even though you are not supported you can override it's ugly you should not ask your client to uh, you know okay you should not force your paytm client to override this method by implementing upa payment interface by implementing upa payment interface not to team see okay solution what is your solution we need to segregate interfaces based on client need based on client need so it support isp interface of segregation principles we can design something like below how how see for upa it will be upa only for now you can remove the get cash back credit balance from upa interface you can segregate to one here upa would be there here how oh, interface one like this remove from our interface this one why it is not supporting segregate right okay one more work interface that, that interface name is maybe a cash back manager public void get cash back manager 
based on the client need we segregate interfaces let's paytm now implements from upa payments then as a client we are not enforcing him or anything to use which follows the isp if it is google pay they should implement both if it is paytm they will implement only this one so based on the client need solution we need to segregate the interface based on the client need now we'll write some points team here earlier we are not writing now we'll write points isp states or this principle state states that we should split our interfaces segregate means split our interfaces into smaller interfaces smaller and more specific ones for no next one that means isp ask ask you to create a different interface a different interfaces for different responsibilities that is very very important that is don't don't group unrelated behavior don't group unrelated behavior in one interface we should break we should break if if we have already already an interface if we have already an interface with many responsibilities all standards coding standards and the implementer and the implementer does not need all this stuff all are coding standards that's why in our project development in our project development i may write in one interfaces only i can write uh, you know card verify i can write dao that's not a good you have to segregate your interfaces you should not don't group unrelated don't group unrelated behavior in one interface it is very very important don't group unrelated behavior in one interface that's why even the class structure will be the okay the package okay, structure will be big team i have to follow this standard i should not write unrelated behavior service means a service interface client means client interface dao means dao interface if any more features are there in this dao you can you can add it but you should not mix up this dao with uh, card verified dao with um, service it is not recommended you should not group you should not group don't group unrelated behavior in one future team one future team that's it always you should try to skip always you should try to split our interface into smaller interfaces and more specific ones team got it team it is called interface segregate principle what is that last one our spring dependency injection team dependency inversion last one dip dependency inversion principles spring ioc team hope everyone knows but anyhow 
will discuss. Okay. It is simple team. ISP is very simple ISP. What ISP will tell? Hey developers, don't write your Amir Pet code. You will write your interface and you will write unrelated, uh, okay, unrelated um, behavior methods here. No, you have to split your interfaces with multiple interfaces. Each interface will belongs to that interface and behavior only. No. Okay, last one team, dip. What is dip team? These principles. The last one team, dip. These principles states that this principle states that we must use use abstract classes and interfaces instead of concrete implementation instead of concrete of implementation let us uh, use team something you have two cards team okay, let us use team you have the goal is a very simple team the goal is very how to loosely coupling team how to loosely coupling see now here okay problem statement what is problem statement here see so if you go we will go to some hyderabad central or hyderabad central for shopping team Okay, there are central for stopping and uh, okay to buy something to buy something. No, do we decide? Do we decide to pay for it by using pay for it using card? Now here when we when we will give card when we will give card to check for making the payment okay now here that that clerk guy doesn't bother clerk guy doesn't bother to check what kind of card you have given and check what kind of card what kind of card you have given even if you give if you given a debit card or credit card it our credit card it not even matter team not even matter they will simply swipe it they will simply swipe it okay this is what abstraction abstraction between clerk and clerk and customer to relay on to relay on card processing now let's see our example D. what is your example here see you have a two cards team one is credit card another one is a debit public class debit card debit card public void two transaction Int amount. Okay. 
do transaction int amount just system dot out dot print in something transaction done with debit card done same like i have credit card ready let us assume that same like i have credit card let's try to understand now with this two card you went to shopping mall and purchased some order and decide to pay using credit card now with these two cards customer went shopping mall and purchased some order and decided to pay using credit card no actual test will start now let's see so if you are going to use a shopping mall means what public class shopping mall debit debit card so your shopping mall application public shopping mall debit card okay debit card we'll go to here this dot debit card is equal to debit card okay now this constructor is done now public wide do payment public wide do payment object order int amount now debit card dot debit card dot do transactions debit card dot do transaction do transaction thing something amount amount okay now we are good now we'll see public static void main string rbs debit card okay debit card is equal to new debit card new debit card okay now is okay shopping mall is equal to new shopping mall i need to pass a debit card this is what their shopping mall card of application team see how how beautiful it is now shopping mall dot do payment just try to understand do payment your order item name And amount is ten thousand. Done. If you observe, now you have two cards. You have okay, decided to using credit card. You are giving credit card. You will swipe. What happened? Your shopping mall application is tightly coupled with debit card. If you observe this, it is a wrong design. your class is tightly coupled with uh, not if we observe this is wrong design wrong design of coding now oh, shopping mall is tightly coupled with uh, debit card now if user if user is trying to pay the bill using credit card then will get error will get error like 
you will get error like okay some error in your card okay something you will get error so he want possible because so shopping mall is tightly coupled with shopping mall is tightly coupled with shopping mall is tightly coupled with a okay, debit card okay so now now what can we do now if you remove debit card with if you remove a okay, debit card with if you remove a okay, debit card and add add credit card in our application then what happened then if you remove a okay, debit card from constructor add credit card and add credit card then now here what happened if you remove a okay, debit card and okay, injecting into credit card and inject into credit card inject into credit card then what happened which is is not good approach good approach to write the code which is not good approach to write the code which is not good approach to write the code because because to follow dip we need to design see it is now how it it would be tightly coupled with credit card now it would be tightly coupled with credit card now now see if you want to follow dip dependency inversion we need to design we need to design our application in such a way that my shopping mall in such a way that shopping mall application should accept any type of card any type of card bracket it should not care it should not care whether it is whether it is debit card or credit card it should not care whether it is debit card or credit card whether it is a okay, debit card or credit card to simplify this to simplify this designing to simplify this designing principle we need to we need to write interface called interface called bank cards let's see how it is works public interface bank cards here simple method is called public void transaction amount amount now it will implements it will implements public class credit card it 
implements bank cards implement bank card write this method write your business logic on public void do transaction only for credit card okay transaction it is if you want this one okay debit card okay write it system dot out dot print ln or transactions done with credit card Which implements here bank card. Bank cards. Okay, debit card and bank cards. Now you need to redesign your okay, shopping mall application. shopping mall of application how same copy paste here public shopping mall that's what we already seen in our spring core here we should pass bank card your, your application should not be tightly coupled with either credit card or debit card what you will do, you should pass okay, you should pass this one now here what you will do bank card is equal to new bank card now all are good, now here what you will do bank card If you are supplying credit card, it will pass the credit card. If you supply a debit card, you will pass the debit card. So whatever your input is passing either credit card or a debit card, it will ready to okay, accept it. Based on this implementation, it will call that method. It will call that method. You are passing here bank card. At runtime, your underlying object credit card will be happened. It is not tightly coupled with credit card or debit card. At runtime, what card you are passing, it will take that card and it will process the input. It will process the data. You know here, bank card dot transaction. That's it. This is what. That's what. See, if you observe shopping mall is loosely coupled with bank card. Now, always your application should be loosely coupled if you observe if you observe if you observe shopping mall is loosely coupled is loosely coupled with bank card any type of card card process the payment without without any impact which 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 proves dip which proves dip okay dip stands for dependency inversion principle this is called you no know, solid principle steam this is called solid principle steam. Have you got team? Did you get it team? Now what is this deep work inversion of control team? Everyone team. 
Did you get it, team? Your application should not be tightly coupled. It's all same like our Spring I was like a dependency injection only. You are injecting your like a dependent object into a dependency. That's it. Your dependency object into a dependent. That's it. But while injecting, it should not be tightly coupled with any your concrete class. Always you should supply interfaces. So at runtime, what implementation you are passing based on that implementation doesn't matter. It is a credit card or a debit card. At runtime, you are passing this, it will be executed. Got it, team? This is called dependency inversion control. Any questions, team? This is called solid principles, team. These are all called solid principles. We have cleared single responsible, open closed, LISCOVA, interface. Now you'll write a summary team. Okay, you'll write a summary. You'll write a summary team. That is the summary. What is first one? Okay, SRP. One line statement team. What is SRP team? Single response. A class should have only one responsibility. And one reason to change or modify that class. Done. Second one. What is next one team? Second one. Open closed principle. So it is open for extension and closed for modification. That's it. That is not recommended, not okay recommended to, to, to modify the logic for every feature. To modify the logic for every feature. Okay. Now try to, try to, okay. Try to write new class for each future that's it it good team the summary team third one lsp liscova substitute principles what is okay liscova okay substitute okay principle team okay anyone simple team a derived class derived class our field classes should be substitutable for their base class, base or parent class. So that's it. What is fourth one team? ISP interface of segregation team. ISP is always is always try to say should split ah uh, it is it is it is always okay try to say so don't group don't group unrelated unrelated behavior behavior in one interface in one interface in one int work interface a good team so we should break we should break we should break or split split interface split interface into smaller interface into smaller or more specific more specific one smaller or more specific one that is ask to create ask to create different interfaces for different responsibilities fifth one dip dip 
dependency inversion controller it always try to say use interfaces are abstract classes instead of concrete class okay, instead of concrete class to to supply the to supply the dependent objects easily to supply the dependent objects that is high level modules should not dependent on low level module but low level module but both dependent on the abstraction a level module should not okay depending on the low level so use of interfaces classes okay Sim simple now here objects should not be tightly coupled object should be loosely coupled loosely coupled object should be loosely coupled objects should be loosely coupled using interface using interfaces using not interfaces using interfaces comma Just don't tightly coupled. Don't tightly, don't tightly coupled with concrete classes. That's it. Got it, team. Hope you got okay everything, team. Okay, yeah. This is what solid principles. Team, if anyone ask for interview, you should tell yes, I know. We have implemented this in solid principles in, in our project. We have implemented SRP. We, we will implement it OCP. We have implemented so many places like LSP, ISP, DIP, DIP default. Your Spring IOS dependency injection means DIP we are using. ISP means you are implementing proper interfaces with uh, related behavior ISP implemented, SRP implemented. Liscova okay, inheritance we have implemented. OCP. Now it okay, depends upon the requirement. We should implement for the OCP also. That's it. These are the common design principles to implement your project development team. Yeah. Thank you. Hope this class would okay help you okay helping to you for your upcoming uh, you know okay, upcoming uh, okay, development team. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, team.